Hey guys, how's it going? Electron Man, hope you're doing good today. Let me go ahead and get this camera down here a little bit. I, I did a video review on this Protec, Protrek, they call it, the Casio. This is kind of a high dollar watch, but uh, it's been a really good one. And uh, man, I wear all kinds of different watches, but for my daily, this is my daily. One of the main reasons is because it has basically like a, uh, oh, I don't know, one of them, them uh, fitness Fitbits or whatever you call them, it does you know it does steps in it, and I kind of like that. Then it's just a good all-around, all-weather, waterproof watch. But uh, anyway, I have to go back and look and see. I know it's at least a year old, but uh, finally the batteries went down on it, or it's not down. As you can see, it's still keeping time. But whenever I try to sync it with my phone, it says uh, re recovering. And I went and did some research, and it's recovering because the voltage went so low on the watch. And basically, since this doesn't have like a rechargeable battery in it, which I mean, it's oh, it's over a year old, so the battery's held up really well because I like download all the time. It's got Bluetooth, so I'm very impressed with the battery. But anyway, if you get this reconnect on your Protect, it needs a new battery. So I went ahead and ordered a new battery, and I thought I'd go ahead and bring you along on putting a new battery in it. I don't think it'll be too complicated. Hopefully not, and I sure don't want to mess it up because, uh, you know, it's a, it's a two hundred plus dollar watch. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get in here. By the way, the uh, the battery it uses is a uh, what was that number? Uh, a 2025, I guess. Is that what it is? Yeah, CR 2025. It's a big old button battery. That's probably why it lasts as long as it does. But and it looks like it's got four screws on the back. We'll just bring you along on this. Um, as you can tell, this is well, well weird. Well, well worn. There we go. Weird. That's a new word. Anyway, it looks like it's got four screws here. Let's just go ahead and take these out. Yeah, that one feels good. There we go. Let's see how this thing comes apart. I've, like I said, I've never had it apart, so I have no idea. Ooh, look how dirty that is. I'm about to need to clean that too. Oh, and that just gets a uh, that just gets it to where I can get the case ones out. Okay, that's kind of neat. So if this broke, you could actually get a a new bezel for it. Like I said, this has been a super good watch, and I mean, I have abused it. I've not been light on it. As you can see from all the dirt behind it, it's uh, definitely been well, well used. It's got like a compass on it, and I mean, I can't remember all the things on it. I think it even has some type of GPS on it. And, but I mainly like it for the time, and like I said, for the step tracker. That's the the main main things that I've really found that I really like about it but these over here because they're a different type I lift that out of there oh, it's got an o-ring we have to be careful about putting that o-ring back in there correctly when we put it back together it's a little o-ring there we want to keep it watertight and then uh, what do we got going on here a little plastic cover going on that to the side how does this battery come out now is the question I sure don't want to mess the watch up doesn't look like it has any screws how is that being held in there T tell you what guys we're gonna stop the video but I'm not gonna break this this is an expensive watch I need to do a little research because it's not like wanting to just pop out on me. I was hoping it would just fall out, but it looks like we have to do a little more research. So I'll be back. Okay, guys, this ain't for the faint hearted, but if you look here, it's got a little bitty hook over there, and you got to get back in there and you got to push and pull it out. 
real carefully. I finally found this little bitty tool. Probably a needle or a pen would work as well too, but you go right in here and you push and then you push out and you'll get to lift up. And by the way, it's not like hinged. It's like you kind of got to bend the metal back. And then apparently this battery is kind of like stuck on the back of this piece here come on battery it's like it doesn't want to come off the definitely not user friendly by the way I ended up be real careful I hold this down while you're pulling it out I pull the whole piece watch out and there's a little bitty cable there I don't know if you can even see that sucker and it unplugged and I had a nightmare I spent the last hour off camera getting that thing and I think I got it plugged back in but it's like a little bitty ribbon cable that plugs in there so be careful not to lift the whole watch assembly out I don't think I heard it though hopefully not I'm telling you this is this is more stress than I wanted the stickers like holding the battery in Here we go. Finally, I got what I was after. Jesus. That's a pain of suck, and I'm going back with the dirt cell. So, ridiculous. Okay, now then, we just want to drop the battery back in. Whoops. I'm OCD, so I want it to be upright. somewhat straight in there and then take that ah, I had you in there this thing is just fighting me all the way and then you just snap her back in there okay and she is back to ticking clicking so I don't think I heard anything hopefully that sensor cable that's what I'm guessing it is that little guy right there I got it plugged back I mean, it only plugs in one way, but my God, these old hands and these old eyes, that was quite the test. Ah, well, let's go ahead and, I don't know if I've convinced you how easy it is or maybe take it somewhere and have it done. <laughs> okay, let's get the rubber gasket back in there, which it's got it etched out. It's a little O-ring. Get it set back down in the, it wants to stick to my fingers. Of course, it's not going to be easy either. Nothing on this watch battery change has been easy. What's this stick to my fingers? Anyway, as you can see, it just fits in the. There it goes. It's in the little channel that it's got set up for it. Make sure I got it all laid nice and good and flat. Don't want to. Yeah, we look good there. Then we're just going to take the back, put the back back on. Which. Again, let's go ahead and make sure we get her out. And it looks like that just fell right back into place. We have these four screws. Definitely not faint at heart, I tell you. This is a. Uh, you need steady hands, too. I don't know how much it costs to send it in, but after all this stress, I almost would have been. better off sending it in and have put a dang battery in it. That was not fun. Once I figured out how to unclip it, but first I pulled the whole thing out, which is not what you want to do. Pop that cable. I wasn't supposed to do that. At least in this video you'll learn what not to do. Yeah, definitely hold down on that because it the whole module will come out if you're not careful. And it's got that silly little cable that I showed you. That you don't want to deal with, I promise you. It took me probably a good hour to get that 
thing lined up and it, I think it was just luck I finally got it to line up. Okay. As you can see, it's clicking away, keeping time. Um, I went to the compass. Altimeter seems to be working. There's the compass, which you can see. It's definitely doing its compass thing. So I appear that I've gotten it all right. Yeah, this thing's got compass. Uh, like I said, it's got all kinds of crazy stuff on it. It's pretty cool. The compass, see, it uses the second hand as the pointer. Uh, let me go and get the, I'm going to go and clean it up a little bit, get it back together, and I'll come back and show you the finished. Oh, great. I forgot to put this piece in it. Okay. Well, let me get, take it apart, put this little plastic cover back on, and then put it back together, and we'll finish this up. Okay, guys, she's all back together and a functioning fine. Uh, a little bit of a stressful job, I'll tell you. Uh, not for the faint-hearted. <laughs> I'll say that again. But uh, she's all back and working. Even the light works. Uh, everything seems to be functioning as it should. Really, the only big problem I ran into was getting that little clip off from the battery holder. And be real careful because I pulled the whole module out and then pulled that little cable out. And you don't want to do that. But we did get her all back together. So... It is something you can do yourself if you uh, follow my little steps and don't do what I did. You'll probably be fine. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this little one. By the way, you know, go back and review my ProTech uh, review I did on this watch. This is a kick butt watch. I really, really like it. It's my daily. I mean, I have a lot of nice watches. I go out to the casinos when I want to, you know, show off some bling. But day to day, this guy right here is awesome. Anyway, guys, as always, if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. And have a great day. This is the Electron Man.